Hello, how you doing? This is your girl Gage. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, this is going to be another wig tutorial. And this is going to be a lace front wig. As a matter of fact, I just actually received her two days still in the box. So, haven't opened her yet. But, I'm going to do that. Before I get to the lace front wig, I would like to answer the question about um, the... L'Oreal Telescopic Explosion Mascara. You remember I did a, a review on this a few videos back. Someone wanted to know how am I liking it so far. And I just wanted to go ahead and answer that. I am in love with it. I really do love this wand. It is the bomb. And it basically does the do. I mean like I said my eyelashes are naturally long so this works for it and it separates the lashes and it expands it and I'm going to just show you it right now that I'm not lying see how it separates the lashes you see that and these are my real lashes and then also the bottom lashes I used to always have a problem with the bottom lashes with other mascara um it actually shows you know so my answer is it's still working I still love it and I would suggest that if you are interested in getting it then go ahead and purchase it because it's worth every penny um let me fix the lighting and everything am I still blurry yeah I'm still a little bit blurry sorry guys there we go okay well, let's get to the wig. Where's my scissors? I ordered this wig from um, HairSisters.com. You can also go to ClareHair.com. Um, anywhere. It was for $39.99. It's called the Balencia. And you know I always buy like a 1 or a 1B. Well, this time I did get a color. You know I told you I was try a different color and everything I got um I think it's 1B33 let's see <clears throat> oh wow looks like I have a, a gift but they gave me a little free rat tail comb I guess this is a promotion or something I'm not sure but it's cute you know and it got all the names of um like the products that they sell like the um goddess are sensational uh instant move you know that's cute anyways thank you hair sisters.com for the free gifts okay yes it's um 1b33 just the color 1b33 this is what she looks like she's a curly wig and she's from Altre. and um what we're going to do is just basically try her on and see how we like it. <clears throat> a lot of people ask me, can you wear lace fronts without glue? You don't have to wear glue. It's totally up to you. Um, if you wear glue, I suggest you take it with you. Because if you sweat a lot like I do because of the humidity is bad in Florida, you can touch up your, your glue because it does lift and everything. I love the way they be packing um, their hair because it keeps the hair in place. It is real curly. You see those curls? Wow. It keeps the hair in place. You see how that foam is around the lace and everything? It keeps it keeps it right in place so we take all of this stuff out of it and I do have my foam head guys you know how we do put the wig on the head in order to cut the lace you could put it on your head to cut the lace if you want but um what I do is put it on the foam head to cut it that way I won't cut off any of the edges any of the hairline so what I'm gonna do is fast forward guys cut off the lace and be right back with you okay
Okay, so I'm back. As you can see, I cut the lace off of her. So let's go ahead and try her on. Um, before we try on, I'm going to show you. She has two combs in the front. And she has a comb in the back. And she also has, you know, the adjuster. So, you don't have to always use glue to put on lace front. I always get questions about that. You definitely don't need the glue to put it on because the um, adjusters and the combs give it a tight fit. The type of glue that I use is the 30 second Salon Pro Glue. And also, to remove it, um, someone asked me that question. What I use to remove it would be the Salon Pro um, 30 second Super Hair Bond Remover, but it doesn't take 30 seconds for it to remove. It takes a little bit longer. Now the glue, 30 seconds. That's all you need. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and put her on. I had already adjusted her to my head size because I already know what size my head is. Also, I'm not gonna glue her on tonight because I have somewhere else to go. And I want to wear my big poofy um, ebony wig, you know, the, the curly wig that I did a video ago. And so I'm not going to put on the glue on this wig yet. But I really like her so far. She's very pretty. Very, very curly. You guys let me know what you think, though. It's all about what you think. I mean, I'm going to wear her regardless. Only only negative thing I got to say so far about her is the feel of it. You can tell that she's going to um, frizz up real fast and get matted up real fast. So I got to take very good care of her. Let me show you the back with the curls. It's very curly. And, um... This is the lace part. She's not going to go anywhere. She's fitting very, very tight. So, you don't really need glue, like I said. You see the lace on it? It's very cute. Um, I would not put heat to her. Because she has that real silky, synthetic-like feel. I'm not sure if you know exactly what I'm talking about, but she have like that real silky synthetic like feel. So I wouldn't put heat to her because she really does feel flammable. <clears throat> Even if you probably spray water on her and try to put heat to her, it probably go ahead and melt. So don't put heat to her. This once again is Balencia. I like the way she fits my head. <laughs> So just let me know what you guys think about her. I really like her. You know. The only negative thing like I said is that she's going to frizz up um, a little quicker than all my other wigs. But you know she's really cute. Let's go down a little bit so you guys can see it. So let me know what you guys think. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Pictures at the end like always. Bye.